Hi everybody, today we are going to be talking about prepping for soldering uh, and then our next video is our soldering process video. So you have to watch this one first and then the second one. So soldering is the process of using solder, which in this case we use silver solder, to melt in between two pieces of metal to kind of glue them together permanently. So if you take a look at this ring that I designed here, I have this rounded piece here, the band, and then I have one piece of metal that's brass, that's a larger shape, and then a smaller shape on top of it. And if you look at my side view, you see there's this curved top piece, the flat piece in the middle, and then I have my ring underneath it. So I'll walk you through how we would do these joints uh, kind of in this video and then also in the next one. So first thing you've got to do is create your design, saw your shapes and pierce them. So I have my top kind of curved piece with my texture that goes right there. I have my flat brass piece that would be the piece that goes right there. And then I have my band piece. So I sawed all of those out and I've already started to kind of clean up the edges, but what I would want to do now for this step is I want to start our I want to start filing and sanding the pieces and bending them so they fit together well before I solder. So I'm going to come back to these joints in a second. So what I mean is once I solder these two pieces together, I'm not really easily going to be able to sand and clean up these edges. Um, in the same way, once I solder these two pieces together, I won't be able to sand or file around the shape. So what you want to do is you want to get them pretty well ready. So this surface is a little bit dented and dinged, so I would take my sandpaper, I would work on it with medium sandpaper, and I would sand to clean it up. In the same way, if you have sharp edges, you want to deal with those ahead of time. Okay. The only exception to that is if you are making a ring, and if you look here, I've got some little bumps along where I was sawing. You can much more easily sand this after it becomes a ring, because if you can picture it as a ring, you can then set that whole ring right down on your sandpaper and go like this, and then it cleans up the edge. So if you have some big bumps, you might want to file those out, but really the rest of it you can sand after. Okay. So as mentioned, sanding, filing, and then you'd form your piece, which I'll talk about in just a sec. Let's talk about the two types of joints that we're gonna go over in class, the butt joint and the lap joint. All right, the butt joint is what I'll be using for this ring because I'm going to take and bend the metal. And so the ends will then butt up against each other. Okay, so I'm just doing this with my fingers to start. But ideally, these two pieces are going to come down and meet like this. They butt up against each other. Okay, so in order to do this more, I might need to anneal my metal. I might need to use pliers um, or more likely using a mallet on a steel block to get them to sit down a little bit lower. And I can take off my taped piece of paper at this point. Okay, for these, this is what we call a lap joint. So a lap joint is when something sits on the lap of the other one. So it's slightly different and I'll show you how to solder that seam as well. This lap joint, I need the pieces to be sanded so they touch well. And if you look, this one's a little rounded. So what I'll need to do is either file or sand a little bit on the back of this so there's a flatter spot because we want a strong connection. All right, so my butt joint, my lap joint, those are the two different things we're looking for with our metal. All right, so I talked about forming, so I would need to anneal this a little bit and get the ends to touch. This is something that I have to make sure the ends are nice and smooth and straight so they come together perfectly well. And that brings me to my next thing on my list. So a light, tight seam. When you're soldering, you cannot let any light through. So if I have spaces like this with my metal, then I'm really not going to get a great solder seam. And especially for a ring, you want both ends to perfectly sit next to each other. So it should look like this, not like this, okay? So in order to do that, you might have to open it up a little, you might have to file, open it up, sand it, press it back together again to make sure it really sticks well. All right, and then the last thing, once I have my light tight seam, I've sanded my pieces, then I wanna go and use some soap and water on them in the sink before I solder. Our, the oil and grease from our hands kind of works as a resist and it means that the solder won't flow as well. So you always wanna clean your metal before going on to the soldering process. 
All right, I look forward to sharing more with you in our next video.